good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we do have a new custom elite action figure for you guys and it is a wwe elite aj styles from elimination chamber 2019 last night of course was elimination chamber 2019 if you guys missed my review of that full show you definitely want to go check that out on the channel you know i review every single match i talk about everything that happened last night what my thoughts were on the full card what my thoughts were overall about the elimination chamber match and everything in between if you guys would like to check that out it is up on the channel it went up about 10 30 p.m central time last night and uh, yeah, I, I watched this. I watched the match, obviously, and AJ Styles was a participant in that Elimination Chamber for the WWE Championship, that hemp WWE Championship that Daniel Bryan has. And he came up short, obviously. I think that we are headed towards a Randy Orton versus AJ Styles matchup at WrestleMania 35. You know, Ra Randy Orton did catch him. He went for the springboard to go hit Kofi Kingston with that phenomenal forearm. Randy Orton jumped up and while AJ Styles was springboarding, RKO'd him. One, two, three, eliminated. And I thought it was pretty sick. When he first walked out, I was like, holy crap, he's actually rocking the Survivor Series Elite that we got from Mattel. And actually, no, it was not. It was not that attire at all. It was very similar, but we're going to go through those uh, things and why this is not the exact attire that that uh, you know Survivor Series figure was. This is, however, the base figure that I used. I did use the Survivor Series Elite, the Walmart exclusive. I used that. I also used, I'm gonna, I'm, let, let's just run down the part. So what we did was I did take the Elite 66, that's what this is right here. I took the head scan off of the Elite 66 AJ Styles, obviously the new, the brand new one with the nice gloves and the nice head scan. I like that head scan the most and it's the most accurate to a current AJ Styles. So I put that on the figure, obviously. Then from the neck to the knees, we went with the Survivor Series Elite. And I think I don't think that figure came with knee pads. I think I put these knee pads on on an episode of Action Figure Surgery. Maybe episode... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. My freaking belts just dumped out everywhere. Alright, I think I got all the belts put back. But anyways, getting back into this AJ Styles. It is the Survivor Series Elite from the neck to the knees. Again, we did add those knee pads on WWE Action Figure Surgery. And then what I did for the kick pads, and honestly guys, I mean, this was uh, a bit of a bummer. I did have to do this, and it kind of sucks, but I wanted, I really wanted this attire. I was really inspired by the attire last night. That's why I made the attire so quickly. I literally made it on the same night of Elimination Chamber. I literally whipped it up in like 20 minutes. What I did was I took the right boot from the Elite 61 AJ Styles. I had an extra Elite 61 AJ Styles. You guys can see. Um, on this one, obviously this one's red, this one was blue, and this is what the right kick pad looked like. It had the blue on there, and obviously the face of the kick pads that he wore at Elimination Chamber were this, the black with the white outline, with the white phenomenal, with the blue outline, so I obviously had to go with that. And then down here, this was all black. I had to come in with my... We'll get to the painting later. But this is the, the right boot of the Elite 61. I switched that with the Survivor Series Elite. And then painted it to what I needed it to look like. And then on the other side, the left boot of the AJ Styles was from the Network Spotlight. I had an extra Network Spotlight AJ Styles. I switched that over here so you guys can see. Um, obviously, these figures look dumb now because it has the Survivor Series Elite kick pads. But I switched that over because it had the black face, the white outline, the white... Uh, one with the blue outline and then of course I had to paint it up respectively so that is what I had to do I mean I know it sucks I had to use kick pads from two extra figures but they were extras and that's what they're there for they're there to you know use for parts and stuff why do you think I have so many uh, you know Finn Balor's why do you think I have so many Seth Rollins it's for customs and things of that nature because that's the, my favorite part of about the hobby is part switching and painting and stuff like that so that's the reason I have so many of one superstar that's the reason I have all that is to make customs and enjoy the hobby to the most of my ability so that is what we did there. I also did add the black belt because he did have his belt black. He also had all this black detail. The Survivor Series Elite is the perfect base because you don't have to paint anything like this. You do have to paint the belt on there, but that wasn't a big deal. But what I did was I took those kick pads that we had, and obviously they were both already base blue, but I wanted them to be the same exact blue because they were two different blues. You know, the Elite 61 is like a darker navyish kind of blue, and then the WrestleMania 33 or Network Spotlight is a lighter blue, sort of like the AJ Styles, the Elite 56, or the Survivor Series. So what we did was I took my game color and I obviously went over that. I went over all the feet and everything. Literally everything but the face um, down here, the black and white. I went over everything with this blue game color. And then when that was done, I came back over with the Ceram Cult Ultra Blue to give it the blue color that you see here. And then, of course, I had to come in with my Ceram Coat in white 
paint the white outsoles. I thought that was so sweet that he's finally decided he borrowed a play out of Finn Balor's playbook and went with the white outsoles. And so I painted that up and then I had to come back with my black, touch up anything that was missing in here. Obviously had to paint the belt in there. Um, touched up all that and then added the little kick pad straps in there. So that is all that we did. And I think it's sick. I really like the AJ. I was really, again, I was really inspired by it. And it's the most recent attire that he wore. So it's an updated AJ Styles. We got the head scan for the Elite 66. We got the kick pads. And I really like this attire. I don't know if you guys enjoyed it, but I really like the all blue. It's, it's very similar to the Elite 56, except, you know, the white outsoles. The, the kick pad faces, the, the black and white is switched right here. The phenomenal one is black with blue outline, so it's it's a little bit different. It's not completely different, but I like it a lot. Again, I was inspired by it, and the white outsoles just really pop. You guys know how I am about the color white anyway. When he walked out with those white outsoles, you knew I was going to make it. I had to do it, and I'm excited for it. I like it, and it makes me actually want to buy more AJs to do more custom fantasy attires, more you know switches and fix-ups and stuff. I've seen a lot on Instagram that make me really want to just buy a bunch of AJs, especially the Elite 51 and then the top talents and stuff. You can do some really sweet swaps that I would like to do on action figure surgery. I'm just waiting for AJ Styles figures to come down in price. AJ's actually one of those guys that is really inflated in price. Also, we did come back with the matte Mod Podge and you know seal everything up so that we didn't lose any of our progress. I do have some fantasy customs in the works that I'm super duper excited about. I think you guys are going to get a good kick out of it. That includes a custom championship belt that will go along with that custom. It's going to have an entrance shirt with that custom if that gives you sort of, you know, an idea of where we're going. We have um, a lot of cool swaps that I want to do. I'm just waiting for some figures to drop in price, like I said. But again, I would love to know your guys' thoughts down below on what you think of the Elimination Chamber AJ Styles. I'm going to also post it on Instagram. It's probably already posted. Well, no, it's not because it's early in the morning. This is not posted yet. I will be posting better pictures of it later on on Instagram. So if you guys want to see that, I will be posting that up. Um, one thing that I will say again is the phenomenal, the outline of the blue on the phenomenal side and the blue side or the one side are not completely the same. Uh, again, this is from the Elite 61, so it's a little bit darker than this blue, but it's literally, I don't think you're going to be able to tell. Unless you get right up on it, you're not going to be able to tell. So I dig it, and I have, again, a lot of ideas for really sick customs that I want to make, and I can't make them because I, I don't have the parts just yet. But those fantasy customs, those, those are coming. Those are coming soon. Also, Vindication Episode 12, grinding hard on that daily. We got the MDT Battle Royal coming up. We have a lot of great stuff coming up. Customs, battle royals, pick fetting. We got we got all the good jazz. And we also have a lot of tutorials that we've done this past week. We also had the show review of Elimination Chamber you guys should check out as well. And uh, yeah, so let me know down below what you thought of the custom Elimination Chamber 2019. Uh, I was really going hard for Kofi Kingston there. Really thought he had a chance. You know, I was going hard for him there at the end. Didn't work out, but... You know, it is what it is. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of AJ Styles' attire. Did you really like the blue attire? What do you think about everything? I would love to know your thoughts, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. If you have any questions regarding the custom, comment down below and I will be happy to answer them for you. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.